Make sure you go and check out carmarshall.com. Over 100,000 new and used cars from dealers. You shop, you see what you like, you know, negotiate prices, and get you a very good deal. What is going on, guys? I want to talk about this very uh, sad story. Apparently, a former uh, college basketball player by the name of Deontay Strickland was gunned down by his own sister. Not only that, two other female relatives were struck in the process. This is according to Oregon Live. A standout local athlete died Friday when police say a woman shot three people in the Northeast Portland home, killing one. The victim, Deontay Strickland, was a two-sport athlete at Portland State University and a former standout Central Catholic High School where at whereas at PSU he played basketball and football. At PSU confirmed his death Friday evening. A Portland homicide detective arrested Tamina Strickland on suspicion of murder and attempted murder at the Central Precinct suggesting she may have surrendered to police. She was booked into the, I'm gonna butcher this, I'm just say County Detention Center. County Detention Center at 9.33 p.m. Friday, according to jail records. A deadly shooting was reported a little after 2 p.m. in the 6200 block of Northeast 42 Avenue near the Holman Street. Damien Strickland, who said he was an uncle to the victim, <clears throat> told the Oregonian, Oregon Live that his niece Tamina Strickland shot and killed her brother Deontay Strickland he said Deontay's aunt and grandmother both named Shirley were also shot one in the knee and one in the back and are at the hospital both women's injuries are believed to be non-threatening police say <clears throat> she shot she shot her aunt and her grandmother out of sheer rage or that she knew that they would tell what she had done. <clears throat> now, I don't know the specifics of this situation, but I'm going to assume that it was an argument. I'm going to assume that this female felt some type of way about her brother. And maybe her being older, she may think that, that she could have some sort of say so in a certain type of conversation and it may have turned heated and she went and got the gun and decided to handle it that way not only did you shoot your brother <clears throat> you decided to take to try to take the life of your aunt and your grandmother now you can look into this girl's eyes and you can tell she has no soul None, no remorse, just emptiness. This young man was able to get out of his situation. He was able to get into an environment where he could learn, where he can play sports. And then he had to go back home. For whatever reason, they were around each other and things got heated. But why does things get so heated that you feel the need to take out a weapon is because you know you can't beat them physically. So you go and you go and get a weapon to what, teach him a lesson? To take his life? You see, blood didn't mean anything to this female. She wanted to win that argument or whatever it is that were going on so much so that she wouldn't took her own brother's life. Let me tell you something, whenever a sibling takes the life of her of another sibling she never cared about that sibling she always harbored i'm not saying her specifically but i'm saying that any sibling who takes the life of another other another sibling is somebody who has always harbored hatred and resentment towards them because they were able to do what that other person didn't this person she probably lives with her grandmother probably is not working on where probably dated the wrong men her whole life has never gotten out of portland no accomplishments, nothing. 
Uh, let's read the rest of this. So this is just disgusting. Damien Strickland said, uh, also said a four-year-old child was present but was uninjured. Damien Strickland said he was told Deontay's last words were, my sister shot me and I don't want to die. Tough, man. That's tough. That's tough reading this. Everyone is shocked, Damien Strickland said. They are siblings. His uncle said Deontay left the house and asked contractors working across the street for help. The contractors were giving him CPR as he was saying, my sister shot me, I don't want to die. Damien Strickland said he was confused as to the motive. He said there wasn't any ongoing disagreement or anything weird. Russell Steen, the construction worker who, worked, who helped Strickland after he was shot, said he came running towards the construction site asking for help. The workers quickly noticed he was bleeding and Steen said they sat him down, tried to calm him and apply the pressure to the wound. Steen said Strickland had a wound from the upper chest through his lower back. He estimated they helped Strickland for about 15 minutes until paramedics arrived. Deontay Strickland played basketball at Portland State University after starring at Casper College in Wyoming. Strickland earned All-State honors at Central Catholic High School where he played basketball and football. He was a member of Central Catholic State Championship football teams his junior and senior year and was a key reserve on Portland State's basketball uh, team the past two seasons, averaging 7.4 points in 65 games. He was planning to play running back for Portland State's football team this fall. He was studying social science. So he was going to be playing football this upcoming year. Had everything planned out. Playing two sports. Love sports. Was going to be going back to college. Do y'all understand that the that football season, college, especially in college, is about to start? I think they've already running training camps. The first games are going to be played in late August. <clears throat> and he was at home visiting family until he went back. And I'm telling you right now, his sister already had had some resentment towards him. This isn't random. You don't just have a gun sitting around. This was resentment. This was hatred. And the fact that a four-year-old was there, who's probably her son, and the article made sure not to point that out, because they don't want nobody to think that she would do this in front of her son. We've seen instances like this where these, these women have mental illness. There's a mental illness running rampant, especially in these black communities. This man had, this young man had a whole life ahead of him and now he's gone because of his sister, his older sister, who's about eight years older than him. Whenever somebody needs to get a weapon just to handle a situation, that's a person who you know is not all there. Or maybe they are. But I sense that there's a lot of mental illness with this female. You can look in her eyes and tell there's no soul there. There's nothing there. Absolutely nothing. None of you should feel sorry for this particular female. She put herself in this situation. The only people I feel sorry for is the family. This young man, first and foremost, this young man. The family members that were struck. I feel sorry for those people. Those are the people, this young man right here, and the people who love that young man, his family members. A man who could have brought a lot of prestige to his family, a better life for them, is now gone because of his own sibling. There's a mental illness going on out here, people. There's no way you can make this up. 
There's no way on earth you can make this up. This is absolutely sickening. Absolutely sickening. Make sure you go to teesprings.com slash unofficial JDB merch to go and purchase my exclusive tees and hoodies. Make sure you go to teesprings.com, go and buy you a couple things and represent your red pill mindset.